Okay, quick demo on how to set up the RS tuner. As you can see, we have the battery charger on the battery. It's critical to have this because if the battery wears out halfway through the upload, you can have troubles. Car is turned on by depressing the button for a few seconds. I'll show you. So you turn the car off. Insert the key. Hold down the start button for five seconds and the car will boot. RS tuner is plugged into the OBD2 port. That's the RS tuner box. Connected to the laptop via a USB. Right cow. I'm going to put number three up because number four. I want to see if three is running better than four. Open up the file. Some warning messages come up, making sure that you're using the right calibration and that the battery charger is plugged in. I press yes for the last time. And we'll start uploading. When it's uploading, the fan will come on. That's why you need the battery charger. As you can see from the progress bar, it doesn't take very long at all. The battery low warning light will come on. Normal. This is why we have the battery charger on the car. And that's it. You've now recalibrated your ECU with a cal file supplied from Hank. Load. There we go. So here we're looking at ignition advance. Anyway, this is a simple demo on RS tuner. Let's hit the pedal. You can see the data change. And also you can see the data come off the live data grid. It allows you to see the percentages. And actual values, whether it's bar, millibar. And you can see the values changing. Anyway, mate, that's it. Hope you enjoyed your demo.